Hello boys and girls and welcome to today's tutorial on how to make an elephant and a monster from Cleotic modeling clay. Just let you know that today's tutorial is funded by Creative Ireland and um, for the Quinion and Oak Festival which um, and these tutorials are organized by Tipperary County Council and the local library services. So many thanks for having me today. I'm the founder of Chaotic. So Chaotic is the first Irish brand of modelling clay. It doesn't stick to clothes, carpet or hair. So whatever you make, boys and girls, you get to keep. So it's an air and clean clay. So I'll just show you the little characters we're going to make here today. So we're going to make, this is the little elephant, okay? You see in there? Whoops. I can't, there we have them, there. And then we're going to make this little monster. We're actually going to do the monster first and the elephant second. The monster is a little bit more detailed. Okay, so let's go show you the back as well. To remember the air dry, to be able to keep these little characters forever, to remember um, your Quenya Nanog tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to pull down my screen and we're going to get playing. So I'll just bring it down like this. Okay. So as long as you can see my hands and little characters, that's the main, main thing there, okay? So in the pack that you, you would have got through the library, you would have had green, you would have orange, and you would have purple. So I'm going to ask you to take these out of the pots first. So they're the colours we're going to use for the little monster and the skewer. So this little skewer is very, very important to use as well. And I'm going to put the blue and the white away as well. Actually, I'm going to take out the eyes because they're the monster eyes. You should have little googly eyes there. So they're the monster eyes. You might not have got the exact ones or similar. Okay, so I'm going to put the blue and the white away. I'm going to put my elephants away. And we're going to get making this little character here. So I'm going to go at a slow enough, enough pace just so that everybody can join along. Because I know there's little um, younger kids as well participating today. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to grab the green that was in your kit. So grab all the green that you got. This is what we do for every tutorial, live or virtual. We go through the basic shapes we need to know to make anything from Cleotic. So this is just a little um, practice run. So basically, boys and girls, get that green out and get stretching and folding. So stretch and fold, stretch and fold. You just want to make it more pliable and more softer, okay? So over and back like that. And it's lovely feel between your hands. It's a lovely and therapeutic um, feel to it. So just push it out of the way there. Okay. So then I'm going to ask you to um, roll the green, all the green that you have into a ball. So this is the first shape you need to know to make anything from chaotic. It always starts off with a ball. So roll it in. I'm doing mine in the palm of my hand. I find it easier doing that, but you can do it on the table. You can do it either on the table or in the palm of your hand. And remember, just to go over again, this is a practice run. These are the shapes we need to know to make from um, Cleotic to make any model. Okay, so this is the first one, the ball. So boys and girls, when you're happy with your ball, hold it up to me. If you want it nice and wrinkle free, whoops, where's my camera there? Uh, nice and wrinkle free. You don't want a wrinkled ball, you want it nice and smooth. So that's the first one, okay? Then the second one is a droplet. So it's called a droplet, boys and girls, because it looks like a teardrop or a raindrop. So I'm just going to ask you to look at this part, or to see this part of my hand there. That's what we're going to use there. And you're going to roll over and back, just halfway. Decide where the halfway mark of your ball is. When you put pressure using this part off your palm, your hand, and you put pressure over and back like this. So over and back like this. You want a fat bottom and a skinny top. So fat bottom. And a skinny top. So that's a fatter bottom, that's a skinnier top. So that's the second shape, that's the droplet. So you've done the ball and the droplet. So they're two very important shapes. Okay? I hope you've, uh, you've been able to follow along there. So then the third and final shape is simple, simple sausage. So I'm just going to roll mine back into a ball and then just go over and back like this. And I'm sure boys and girls out there, you know well how to make a little sausage with any modeling clay. So that's it there. Okay? So that's the three shapes we need to know to make these two characters. There. Okay? So again, a ball, a droplet, and a sausage. Now, so then boys and girls, we're actually going to start making our little monster man now. So keep out the green. 
So we're going to just roll it back into a ball because you have to listen up very carefully, boys and girls, because we're all about, you have to listen because I'm going to be telling you about proportions. So there's all the green that I got. Maybe you got a little bit more, maybe you got a bit less. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to ask you first to divide the green into two. So I'm using this skewer here that I supplied and you just put a little bit of pressure on the green. So look at so there's an indent. So that just gives you an indent, an indication of where the halfway mark is and you divide it into two. So something like that, boys and girls, into two like that. OK. So there's equal, equal enough. They don't have to be exact, but equal enough. OK. So basically, the bigger part that we are sorry that this one half is going to be used for the actual main body of the character here for the little monster. So I'm going to ask you just to set that little other bit aside. Don't worry about that. So we're going to worry, worry or work on the body of the little monster. So the body of the monster is actually a droplet. So in order to do that, remember what we said, you start off with a ball and I'm going to do my ball in the on the table here just because there's a smaller amount of green now and I can work it. And then you're going to decide where the halfway mark is and put pressure on one side only. So this is the body of the monster we're doing, the little green monster body, which, as you can see, it's a droplet. OK, see there, it's a droplet. So I'm just going to push in like that and then make your droplet. So I'm putting pressure on one side. I'm having my fat bottom and I'm having my skinnier top. So that's something like that. OK. So that's simple, isn't it? It really is simple. So that's the body of the little um, monster done. So in the pack, remember we said um, we had some orange. Yeah. So I'm just going to again, so listen up carefully, boys. We're proportioning our orange now. So into a ball, into a ball, and then roll it into a sausage. So just roll it into a sausage, not too long. So we're just proportioning the amounts of orange we need for the various parts of this body. So basically, that's all my orange, and I'm going to ask you to divide it into four. So there's two. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, boys and girls, but this is the best way I can teach you virtually how to get your right uh, proportion. So look at something like that, and we're going to nip one bit away, two bit away, three bit away, and four. So there's our four orange amounts. So we don't need to have to worry about these three. So keep the three away. Don't worry about them. See, I'm putting mine aside. Put new side for a minute. So we're going to concentrate on this little orange part of the monster belly. And again, if you look closely enough, it is a droplet, but it's a flattened droplet, boys and girls. So you need to try and do that. So look at the small amount. So that's my little fourth bit, one quarter, isn't it? That I have taken away from my orange amount. I'm going to roll it into a ball. And then I'm going to use actually a finger, boys and girls. I don't have to use the palm of my hand because it's only a small amount. It's finger. And it's over and back like this. So over and back like this. OK. I'm going to hold it up to you. See, like that. Just a little droplet. A little, little droplet. OK. And then we're going to flatten it. So I'm just flattening it gently like this. Like this here. OK. So something like that, boys and girls. And then the skinnier part of the flattened droplet goes to the skinnier part of our body. So look at that and that. I'm going to stick it on like that. And see the way Cleotica just bonds to each other very, very easily. So that's wonderful in that respect, like that. OK. And then, now you have to pay attention, because see the way I did my little body? I did loads of little lines across it. So I'm going to ask you to do that for me now. OK, so I'm just going to move like that. You might need that tray later on. So that's the little the part there. So I'm going to get my skewer, and I'm going to slice across. So slice, and then see when I slice across, I'm going to ask you to drag it out at the edge. Just so Okay, so I'm doing my little lines and then dragging it down. So I'm going to just hold it up to you so you can see. You can see that, and then the, on the other side as well. So I'm holding it and I'm dragging it out ever so slightly, dragging it out, dragging it out, dragging it out like that. If you want something like that, I'm going to put another little line just there, and then just drag it out. You just 
we'll give it a little bit of a design edge. Okay, that's it. So he's looking good. The little belly is near done, isn't it? Is it? That looks very, very good. Yeah, good. Now, so with the green that we have, so this green, if you look at my little monster character here, it has to do the legs, the arms, and his under mouth, or is the part, I suppose it's kind of his bums almost there. So I want to ask you now to divide this. So we, because we're going back to the green, remember, so into a ball, and I'm going to ask you to divide it into two. So look at my green and divide into two. So I'm indenting with my skewer, just gently. You don't want to break that skewer, but you want to give it an impression so that to show you the halfway mark is, and then split it into two like that. Okay. So that's going to be enough for his legs and arms. So that amount there is going to be enough for his legs and arms. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to. Divide that into two. So you have to pay a lot of attention here. Divide that into two. Again, I'm just using the Susan and I'm going to break it away. So try and get them as equal as you can. So just dividing the green into two again. Okay. So that's going to be arms and legs. So I'm just going to hold it there. So look as you can see. So this is the other bit for the base of his mouth. And you might use a bit of that for decoration as well. Okay. But these bits here are for his legs and arms. Okay. So we're going to roll out one of these. This is going to be his legs, I've decided. So I'm going to roll into a ball and we're going to roll it into a long, long sausage. So you want his legs long enough, boys and girls. Well, I do. I think you should as well. This will just give it more animation. So look at the length of my leg there. I'm actually going to go longer because it's going to do two legs. Okay. So look at long bit of green, a long sausage. And we're going to again decide where the halfway mark is. So I'd say it's around there. And we're going to divide it into two. So that's just a simple way of getting two relatively equal legs. Okay. And he is a monster, so we won't worry too much if the legs aren't even. We can say he's got two odd legs like that. Okay. So I'm going to ask you now with the green, so the cutaway bit there you see isn't too smooth. So we're not going to put that underneath. So look at I'm going to put up his little leg. So I've stuck on the leg, and the irregular part of the leg is going under, and there's a gap there. And then the other little leg like that. So I'm going to hold it up like that. So he's going to obviously be sitting down and there's a gap between the legs. Okay. So something like that, boys and girls. So he's looking very good, isn't he? Now, with the other half of the green that we cut away, we're going to do his arms. And I'm going to ask you, so look at the green, into a ball. And just roughly divide it into two because we're going to make these into droplets into droplets so we're going to do two droplets for the arms so that's one arm and that's two arms so roll into a ball and then a little droplet like that okay that's going to be his arm so the fatter sorry the slimmer bit's going to go to his neck and the fatter bit is going to go down to the ground so there's one arm done it's going to put him there so you can see now the next bit into a ball Using that little finger, whoops, you have to jump it away. That little finger there, you're going to put pressure on one side. So there's two arms. So try again, keep them as even as you can. So there's two arms. Okay, I mightn't stick them on yet because I want to do his little finger. So we'll just leave that there like that. But we're going to go back to his legs and then do his little feet. Okay. So now we're introducing our purple colour that was supplied in the kit. Okay, so look at all the mouth I have. So we're going to divide us. We, if you look there, we have his feet and we've got his hands and his head. So I think we will divide it into two. Okay. So all the purple that you got in your kit, there's mine. You may have a little bit less, but we're going to divide into two. Okay. So there we go. I'm indenting, just giving a little impression as to where the halfway mark is, and then I'm dividing it into two. Okay. So we want the larger bit, my, it might can be exact as well, but wherever you have, if you have a larger bit, keep that for the head. Okay, so I'm going to add my, I'm just going to keep a little bit. So I'm taking that bit away because that's going to be for his head. So I'm going to set that aside. So this can be used for his feet and for his little fingers. Yes. So if you look at my feet here, so there's the half, okay. I don't, I think it'll be too big if we use, um, if we use half that. So I'm going to ask you. 
all into a sausage. So again, we're just getting our proportions into a sausage, okay? And we're going to divide it into four. So one, two, three, four again, does it? So I'm going to ask you then to nip it away at the slices, one, two, three, and four. So again, that's kind of going to be two feet and then, well, two fingers. That's going to be loads. But we'll use this anyway for decorating purposes anyway. But I want to use to start with the feet. Our main concern is these lovely feet here, okay? So basically, boys and girls, the feet are droplets. So look, at there's one even one even ball and there's another they're relatively similar i might actually add a little bit of purple just to get it more balanced sometimes i don't always get it right even though i'm doing model makeup for over 10 years now but i can sometimes slip up so you want to get even balls for the even feet i'm going to put that away for a minute so so remember the feet are going to go here and here so into a ball and then a little droplet so the two little flattened droplets like that there's my droplet it's not great now but i'll show it to you like that and then I'm going to flatten it. So it's two flattened droplets that we're after. So I'm holding it up to you. Okay, so that's going to be one foot. So into a ball, into a droplet, and then flatten, hold it up to the camera so you can see, like that. Okay. So I've got two nice feet, kind of similar in size. So I'm happy enough with them. Now I'm not going to stick them on, boys and girls, just yet, because I want you to do the little paws. So look at this here, these here little things here, little paw pads and the toenails. So go back to any of the orange that you have. You should have three bits of orange. Just pick up one of them, okay? I'm just going to ask you to look instead of me dividing it into all sorts. So just pick around that amount away. Look at it, it, it's less than, it's around a P, it's less than a pea size, okay? Around that amount. And we're going to do two little balls for the two flattened paw pads there, the bigger ones, just there, there and there. So everybody look up there and there. So that'll be plenty for the little paw pad. So there's the orange, and I'm going to divide it into two to get that equal amount. So again, into a ball, flatten it, and then it goes, yeah, because that's going to be sticking up like that. So the fatter part's going to go to the sky. So you're going to put that there. So I'm going to hold it up to you now, like that. Okay, and I'm going to do it for the other one. So into a ball, flatten it. Oops. And then he's going to go on the other foot. So into a ball, flatten it, and then in like that. So I'm just going to hold up my two little feet like that. Okay. And then obviously we're going to do our three little toes here and our three little toes here. So I'm just going to put them down so we can work on that. And again, look at boys and girls, you have to look. I'm not going to um do divide, it's going to be too difficult. So I would take around that amount. Again, you can decide, use the designers yourself how much you want to use, but that'll be plenty. I'm going to put on my black tray so it stands out. That'll be plenty for six toes. You want equal amount for six equal toes. So I'm rolling mine into a sausage, and then I'm going to do six little sections, and they'll do each little foot. So three toes on each foot, as you can see in my example there. So look at that. Okay. So divide it into three. Oh, sorry, three, so six in total, isn't it? My math is very bad today, boys and girls. So one, two, and three, two, and three, and do three on the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to go one, two, three. So something like that. Look, I'm not doing my two exact, but something like that. Six little sections, and each section will be turned into a ball, a ball then turned into a little toe. So into a ball. So look at how tiny mine are. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put one in the middle so you can see. See, I'm going to hold it up to you. Yeah, just stuck in the middle of the little foot. The other one in the other middle. And then one each side. One, two, and then another little one the other side. Now, again, boys and girls, you could have got a bigger amount. You could have had less toes whatever you wanted to do you can go more you can go less you can go bigger you can go smaller so you are the designers i'm just here to give you a few little tips and tricks along the way i'm going to we'll put them onto that there and then i'm going to show it up to the camera so there's the little toes and our feet complete okay so i'm going to put them on now stick these on and again the, the purple is very moist so it's 
bonds beautifully and it looks really good against the green and just to point out as well boys and girls green orange and purple are secondary colors so they look really good together yeah like that so we have our legs done we have our feet we have our body and we have our belly so we're doing quite good we're doing actually very very good so i hope you're all doing good out there as well okay so now remember we didn't stick on our arms well i didn't so i still have those two for the little arms so I want you to get then a small amount, similar to your toes, maybe that's too much, around that amount, boys and girls, look up, yeah, you see how tiny it is, and we're going to do six little fingers, okay, now I did mine on this example, purple, but we'll go orange, just when we have the orange, and we'll be complete, so these are going to be, point out, our fingers for our arms, okay, so this so I'm going to roll it into a sausage and then like the toes, three little balls. Okay, so I'm going to do that here. And then I'm going to divide it into six. So look at, there we go. So fingers now. So one, two, three. And I'm certainly not getting these too even. So I'm going to just maybe just do it in my hand here. Three, four, five, and six. So something like that again. It's not an exact science. And using some artistic license here, okay? And then we're going to roll into a ball. So each of my little sections of orange are going to be rolled into a ball, and I'm going to put it to the tip of my little droplet. See the fat part of the droplet? This is kind of the hand stuff, so you can understand. That part is the hand. And then I'm going to go, whoops, here, yeah, one, two, and then three. So again, I'm going to hold it up to you. So there's the little fingers on the fatter part of the droplet. That's one done. It's very simple, isn't it? And then the next one we'll do. So into a ball, stick it on. Stick on the little ball. There's two. See? And then the third. So there's three little balls for the fingers of the arms so there we have them that and that i'm just going to hold them up to you and then we'll stick them on like that so again very simple when you break down all the little shapes you can make everything and anything you want from chaotic i'm sticking my my skinnier part obviously to the skinnier part of the neck and the same for the other one the other side okay so let me just see here i'm just going to turn it around to make sure that it looks okay yeah just my little fingers so they can see them more like that so we're doing very well the body the arms the legs the feet the toes the hands all done so well done if you've been able to keep up with me well done okay now so the next part is the little head so if you can see here i liked the way i have kind of his mouth open and then we have the teeth attached to it so the green that we used, that we set aside. Remember originally the green, we're going to, I'm not going to use it all boys and girls, just because I think it's too big. You can, if it's used, you know, but you can keep that away, maybe you can just take away it and make it something else. So I'm going to take around this amount. Again, you can use the whole amount if you want, but I'm just going to use, and take a bit away of my amount and roll it into a ball. So basically you roll whatever bit of green you're happy with. You want it to, to, to go over the neck so you want a substantial amount so look around this amount i rolled it into a ball simple okay now you have to listen up here so i'm going to use this little finger everybody see my finger 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 and we're going to just put pressure on it put pressure on it put pressure on it put pressure on it like that okay so like that like that now so mine is a little bit big but i'm going to go with it i'm happy enough with it now myself so like that like that and again it's monstrous so the more kind of odd and peculiar he looks the better a monster is isn't he yeah so like that i'm holding it up to you so you want a little indent that's kind of where the mouth is but i want you to go back to the orange so i still have that orange um from my toes and finger section and i'm going to make look i'm going to do one two, three. i think i'll do five teeth for this one okay so i'm going to take this amount of orange away so around that amount boys and girls okay and we're going to roll it into a ball so into a ball and then a sausage and we divide it into five look again you can have bigger and smaller teeth 
it is no exact science to it so i am just going to i'm going to try and keep mine as even as you can but you can go bigger and smaller at the same time whatever you want so let's just see how it goes so dividing this strip of orange into i'm doing five teeth one two oops two three four and five let me see four and five now some of these might be bigger than the others but that's all part of the charm as well so i'm going to roll them into a ball so his teeth are orange they're they're little kind of little balls but i'm actually actually do a droplet you can do a ball or a droplet but look at my tiny bit of orange and then i'm just going to maybe to make it a little bit sharper roll it into a little droplet like that see so a pointy bit's going to be sticking up yeah like that and then i'm going to put one there okay so i'm going to hold a whole lot to you now okay so i've stuck mine there one two two you want to keep i want to try and keep this wee guy here the same another one that's quite even so two big teeth i'm going to start with the front again you can do your own version i'm just doing mine there i got two kind of equal aren't they and then there we have it another one there and another one there so i've done five you could have went six actually just if whatever way you would want to design your monster piece feel free so something like that for me okay because the head this purple bit's going to sit behind it okay it's going to sit behind it just be mindful of that so that's mine on there okay and there's remember the hollow in the middle i just want to stick it on but i just want to see what it looks like so it looks actually quite good i just have to turn it around to me boys and girls it's hard for me to see oh yeah that looks great 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 yeah i'm happy with that now so remember the bigger amount we kept away for the head of the monster i'm going to ask you to get it so that's the amount i have you should have something similar again it may be a little bit smaller it may be a little bit bigger it doesn't really matter so I'm just good as long as it, it'll, it'll accommodate the eye. So around that size, I'm going to go with. I'm happy enough with that. And I, I'm going to roll into a ball. Okay. I'm going to use the, my palm, my hand. I'm actually going to just roll out gently into kind of an oblong shape like that. You could stick with it as a ball, but I'm just going to go with a little bit like that. Okay. Now, so then I'm going to get my eyes that were supplied in the kit. So I'm putting my eye up there. Look it. And I'm going to put my eye there. Again, you could have just added one eye if you wanted more monstery like. I'm going to go with the two. So, like that. Okay. Now, and then I'm going to stick a little horn coming out of here and at the side. So, I want three little horns basically. So, in order to do that, I want you to go back. We should have a little bit of green left. If not, you can use purple. So whatever, whatever you're happy with. But I've got a bit of green left and I'm going to I'll show you how the amount, whatever colour you choose. You'll need a small amount anyway, so you'll have it. Whatever colour or in that amount of green I'm going to go with. I'm going to roll into a ball and I'm going to divide it into three. One, two and three. OK, so that will just be the base. I don't actually have them on my actual character, but it'll just be more um, professional. So it's going to be a base for the horn to stick on. So look at there's all will be revealed now. So there's the little at the ball. I flattened it ever so slightly and I've put it up there. So that's what I'm doing there. OK, and then I'm going to do another one on the side. So into a ball, flatten it and put it to the side there into a ball flatten it and putting it to the side there so there where my three little horns are going to be jutting out of and it'll just give it a little design edge if it's sitting on a different color opposed to the purple okay so again go back to the orange i still have a load left so i'm going to get three horns even from that amount there it's small you can go for a bigger amount if you want i'm happy enough with that okay so into a ball and then the sausage and divide it into three. My head is rolling everywhere. So into a sausage and then divide it into three to get kind of three equal amounts. Again, we were just trying to get it as professional as we can. It may not be the exact amount, but into a ball, into a droplet. So these are the horns of the monsters we're making, the horns. So I'm just sticking it on. So it's a droplet. So it's a droplet into a ball. 
using a very small little finger use a lovely little small little fingers and then over and back like that so that it is a droplet a sharpened droplet see how important the droplet is for the whole um model making experience so there you have it and there's my final one so i've got two done already whoops using that little bit there look at over and back and a tiny on one half of the little ball and you'll have a pointy pointy droplet like that okay so that was a little bit smaller than the other side but we'll not worry too much okay now i've given my nostrils if these designs are not um if you're not happy with them with the bits i'm doing you can do your own but again i'm here to teach you a few little tricks so i'm going to go with my nostrils so again just the teeniest little bit of orange so look at that's all i'm doing and i'm going to divide that into two because you've two equal you've two nostrils remember so always start off a larger bit if you've if you've two legs arms start off with a larger bit and divide into two it gives you a more equal design so look at into a ball and then i'm going to put it there this little nostril and the other one on the other side so again try and keep it nice and kind of symmetrical if you understand what that means like that oops that in the ball and then like that so something like that i have my skewer i'm going to put a little hole just in the middle of the nostril hole in the middle of the nostril like that and like that and like that okay so again boys and girls i just have to hold it to make sure that it's right so i can see i can see what i'm doing oh yeah that looks very good whoops okay so now this is the the fun part so there we have the head remember the teethy section we haven't stuck on mine well i haven't stuck on mine so you want to put the hole there go, go to the center of it the middle of it and put it to the top to that part there so the middle to the middle like that okay so it's nice secured i'm putting a little bit of pressure chaotic will take some of you so just put a little bit of pressure in there boys and girls okay and then i'm just going to get my head and i'm going to position you like that okay now let me just hold it please so that looks very very good even if you do say it's on my desk that looks really good look at i'm going to turn it all around so you can just have a little look round and around and around and around and around, and around. see yes he's very very monster like now again i have plenty of um of my orange left so i'm going to ask you to decorate the little back of it so in this one here i have little spikes so i'd like you to continue on with that spike notion but again up there i would like you just to give it a little bit of a finesse i'd like you to get some of the pressure okay and do it um as the base if you don't have the purple use the green or if you don't have it don't you don't have to do it but it's, again it's just to give you a little bit of a design edge so i'm going to show you there so i will go one so i'm going to go one on the back of him to give it a more monstery like approach and i'm going to do the base so i've taken this amount whatever color of the base color you're going to do you're going to take around that amount roll it into a sausage and we're going to it's just like the, the the horns here we're doing but on the back and i've chosen a different color okay so one two three we're going to go three horns three bases three balls one two and three so roll that into a ball and then put it to the back like that roll it into a ball so remember i'm only doing three you could do less you could do maybe more one two and three Three, one, two, three. So look, even that in itself. But if there's young kids out there and they want to leave it like that, please do, because it looks good in itself. Just the three little balls. But I'm going to continue on for any older kids. I'm going to just do three little horns. So I've taken this amount for the orange, and we're going to roll that into a ball, then a sausage, and then three sausages. So look at one, two, and three. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the gist now of um, the divide and it's just difficult, you know, I need to be um, able to explain how to do it through obviously virtually doing it. So into a ball and then into a little droplet, a little sharpened droplet 
and there we have it on the back like that. You see there? Not like a chalky chalky. I'm sitting on the press tape. And I'm going to do my other two. So into a droplet, sharpened, pointy bit out, like that. And into a bowl, into a droplet, and into a sharpened bit there. So I'm going to hold it up now, like that. So I've done three little spikes just to give it more of a monstery notion, or a monstery appearance, yeah? Okay, so basically that concludes that part of the tutorial. So I'm hoping you have something similar. Look, yours may be different and it's all good to be different as well. But I was just there to give you the little fundamental ideas of what you can do. So there, something like that, your feet, your, your stuff might be big or small or whatever, but I'm sure they're gorgeous whatever way you have um, you've created them, okay? So that's that little guy done. Now I still have quite a lot of little bits left, so you can keep them and we might, if you want to add them, maybe to make an accessory for him. Another tape, I'm putting them back in there. Okay, so monsters, you out of the way. So I hope you've enjoyed that, boys and girls. We're gonna go on now to our elephant. The monster was a more complicated But anyway, so we're going back to our tub that was supplied, and you should have part blue and you should have white. So that's the two colours. Now, so I'm opening my blue. I'm going to get out my elephant just to have him to give me my inspiration as well. He's my guide here. Yeah, there's one of them. Okay, he's got his little head tilted, and there's another little guy there. So we're going to have some little character a little bit like that, those two little men. Okay. So again, I want you just to get familiar with the blues. So you're going to stretch and you're going to fold and just to familiar, familiarize yourself with the lovely blue. Okay, so just stretch and fold for a minute. Now, again, you all have to listen very carefully, boys and girls, because we're going to be dividing them into different little sections and amounts. So all the blue you have, I'm going to ask you to roll it into a ball. I'm doing mine in the palm of my hand. This is just the, we're dividing it into different proportions of his body. So that's the full amount of blue, okay? Now I'm going to roll it out slightly into a sausage so that I can divide it as good or as best I can, okay? So one, two, and three. So there's the three amounts. I'm gonna hold up to the camera just to show you what I'm doing. So the, the bottom, the middle, and his head. So with legs, the middle, and his head, I've divided them up, okay? So again, we're going to slice it. So that's going to be, we'll say his legs, his body, and then that's going to be his head and ears, okay? So we're going to take those two aside, just forget about them, take them aside, put them over there, don't worry about them. We're just going to use one of those now. So girls and boys, we're going to do his legs. So his legs are basically droplets, but we have to lift them up because this is our proportion we're going to be putting feet. Um, so look, guy here because they're droplets but we're going to divide this amount into five because his little elephant trunk is going to be made from this amount as well okay so we need to divide this amount into five so i'll show you how we're going to do that now there's a little herd of elephants hanging on to each other they're cute aren't they and your ball into a sausage and then we're going to divide it into five okay so i'm going to use that i'm going to start off with my trunk so that'll be the trunk done there and then I'm going to do one, two, three, four, as equal as you can. And the trunk didn't have to be as equal. So one, two, three, four, and there's five. So there's five, four legs, one trunk is five. Okay. So again, girls and boys, we're going to do them into four droplets, and the, even the trunk is a droplet as well. So it's just four droplets we need to make. So into a ball. Let me make sure you can see me doing this. You're going to be professional at this stage at the trunk making, aren't you? Or sorry, at the droplet making. So there's the ball. And then remember, I'm using this finger, putting pressure on one side only. And then I'm tipping it on the table just so to give it a little bit of flatness. So because you want the elephant to be sturdy enough to hold the body. So look at that. Okay. The next one. One. Two. So I'm putting pressure on it there just so that it's flatter at the bottom. 
two, and then eight, I want them to be nice and sturdy, two, three. So it should be equal enough the legs because the legs are very important structure because they need to hold his actual big body. So one, two, I have three done, three drop it's done. We'll go a little bit more there, and there's four. So there's four. Now my knot are not exactly great. Well, three of them are. This one's a little bit small, but I'm gonna put him at the back so you not see him. Okay, four. Let me stand. So one, two, three, four, four. So there's four standing droppers for the four legs of the elephant. Okay, and then the bit that I've left over from my trunk is actually quite big. Mine. I'm gonna roll that into an extended droplet. So look at into an extended droplet and I'm going to flatten it as well. My, mine may be a bit big, yours might not be as, be as big as that, but it's okay. Now, I'm going to put him away because he's just going to distract us. So trunk away, okay? Legs we're concentrating on. So again, each of the little um, legs, so I'm going to So 12 little drops, oh, sorry, 12 little balls, it's simple. I'm going to get my tray here and show you how much you need for that. So look, at there's all the white I have. I'm going to just take that amount away. Okay? I've just taken that amount away. And we're going to get 12, that's probably even too much, 12 little toenails from that. So look, at I'm going to roll into a ball, a sausage, and we're going to divide it into 12 little amounts of 12 toenails. Was it mine might be a bit big, but I'm just going to go with it. So I'm going to divide that. So that's going to be six. So I have to get six out of that, six out of that. And you're just going to divide it into three and three. So if you think you have four legs, so four amounts of white for four toenails, and each um, foot has three toenails. So one, two, three. So you need to be good at maths. Don't you need to be model making as well? Yeah, one. And then. Uh, so we have three there, three there, and you do another three here. One, two, three. And I'll show you all my little amounts. And then finally, the last three. One, two, and three. Okay, mine might be a bit big. As I said, I don't always get it right, but something like that amount. And then we're going to roll to our heart's content all the little toenails here. So look at that. I'm going to put it there. So one, I'm actually going to go a little bit smaller. Look, if you think they're too big, you can nip them in half. One, two, three. So I'm just going to turn them around and then I'll show the camera now. So look at something like that, boys and girls. Three little toenails, three little balls attached to the little elephant legs. And then one, two, and three. Two and three. So I hope you are enjoying it out there. I really do. Now one, two, three. Okay. And then the next one into a ball. Look at I do I do my center one first and then work the other two either side of it. One, two. There's three. And then one, two, three. And then two. And then three. So look how tiny mine bits are. And then I'm going to attach it like that. So I've got my little toenails on. I hope you are kind of at that stage as well. Okay. So you want the little legs kind of to be close enough together. So see my two ones at the front. And then I push my little other ones to the back. So Because you want them to support the body of the elephant, which we're doing next. So look at, I'm going to take, if you have a larger part, I'm going to take the larger part from my body. So the body is very, very simple, boys and girls. It's just a little ball. So you, everybody can do a ball. And actually, because the elephant is often wrinkly, it doesn't matter if you have wrinkles, does it? No, well, mine's quite smooth. Of course, when you want it wrinkly, you won't get it. But anyway, mine's still smooth. So I'm going to keep with that. And then I'm actually going to ask you to position your little body onto the legs like that and that. and again put pressure on the legs. you want them to be nice and upright like that so look at so look at the body's done like that and like that and like that okay 
Now, the next thing we're going to do is the head. So we have the head here. This is the amount, the last bit of blue that we have. We're going to actually get it into the ball. And then this is just our, we're going to divide it into two. Okay. So the head and then the two ears are coming from this. So we can divide it into two. So look, that's going to be the head. And then these bits here are going to be for the two ears. Okay. So the ball for the head is very, very small, but it's, it's, it's around that. So the ball, we're making a ball for the head of the elephant, okay? Now I'm gonna ask you, just don't worry about the ears for the moment. I want you to get a tiny bit of white, look at, just nip a bit away for two eyes. Because remember when you're making two eyes, start off with a larger amount and then divide it into two. So there's the larger bit of white and we're gonna divide it into two. These are the eyes of the elephant we're making. So into a ball, Divide it into two so that they're equal, and then you're going to roll your proper eye now into a ball and into a ball. And again, mine was a little bit big there, so I just nipped a bit away. So, something like that, boys and girls. Look at two little eyes, flatten, put them where the eyes should go there and there. You could give them maybe more googly eye if you wanted, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm you know, happy enough to keep mine flat like that. So, look at looking at you isn't he yeah and then we need to put a tiny bit of blue so that's why this is the ears section we can just nip a tiny bit of blue away so remember look at can you see it it's so tiny look at and then divide that into two so that's going to be the inside of our eye divided into two here and then roll it into a ball so look at i don't know if i can even show you like that okay it's tiny and then into the eye so you have white, then you have blue for the eye. So it's looking good. Sorry, there's my other half there. So into a ball. Can't even show you there. And then into the eye. So again, it's tiny little amount. So that and that. Okay, so it's looking good. Now, we have this left for the ears. But I want to ask you, because if we didn't do any colour mixing during this tutorial, it's important to know. And that they obviously can actually mix with colors. I'm going to ask you to take a bit of white away. So around that amount, that amount. So it's going to be for the inside of the ear is going to be a lighter blue. So there's a bit of white. And again, look at boys and girls, just pay attention. Just a teeniest little bit of blue, a teeniest little bit of blue. Look at, you just wanted a lighter shade. So I've added a blue to the white. And there we go. We're going to learn now what obviously white and blue become when you mix them together. You're going to stretch and you're going to fold and you're going to stretch and you're going to fold and you're going to find out. And of course, you know it out there. I know you are all very, very smart. It's a lighter blue. It's kind of a baby blue, isn't it? I'm going to hold up to the camera now. So something like that. That's the colour we're after. Okay. So getting back to the bits of blue that we have left, I just want, um, I just remembered as well, we didn't do a little tail. So I'm going to take around that amount away for the tail, so look at a tiny bit of amount for the tail. So don't worry about that, we'll do that just at the very end. So this is the amount we have for the ears. So we're gonna roll into a ball, remember boys and girls, two ears, you have two eyes, you have two, I was gonna say two nose, but you don't, um, two arms, two legs. So always start off with a larger bit and then divide it into two, yeah. So I'm getting you out of the way because I want the people to see. Into a ball, flatten it like that, into a ball, flatten balls for the ears. So very, very simple shape. Two flattened ears. Remember, that's the little where the little head will go. It looks like a little mouse, isn't it? And then the light blue that we mixed up, we're going to divide it into two. And we're going to put it in the center, just again to show you. Might a little bit of dark and the blue, but anyway, into a ball, flatten it into the center of the ear. Okay, now, so look at this one. I'm going to put it to the side of my elephant. And the other little guy to the side of my elephant's head and then remember way back when we made our trunk i'm just going to ask you to get your skewer and make a few little incisions like that just to give it the illusion that there's a little crease in the trunk of the elephant and then we're going to put it on like that Okay, so look at that's the head done. So we have the eyes, the trunk, we have the ears on. So he's looking very, very good. Now, oh, forgot the little tail. So we're going to roll that into a sausage. So the tiny bit of blue, if you don't have any blue left, you can use your white or any other 
color from the other one if you want and then you just twist it so look at i've made a sausage look at boys and girls out there look at look at this sausage and then i'm wrapping 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 okay like that again you probably know more about elephant tails than i do but that's what i did mine so then there's the little head and we push them on like this firm but fair boys and girls nothing too strenuous so just push it up like that like that whoops and yeah you want a bit of balance so i'm just going to push the second in the back of mine like that so Heidi, he's going to join my herd of elephants i have a load of herd of elephants here he's another little member so that concluded and i've got some white so i'm just going to set that aside remember the air dry so if you have any any clay left that you want to keep put it in the in your tub for the supply or the bag okay so that concludes that part of that tutorial there i'm going to bring my little other guy up to this little snooze of this little man so like that and that so that concludes our two little tutorials for today i'm just going to bring this up and say look thank you so much for participating i know it's a really hot day out there i'm in the dock here and it's lovely and bright i'm sure it's lovely and bright where you are so i really appreciate that you took the time to follow along with the tutorial so again um i'm louise and thank you very much thanks very much for tipperary county council and the library service for hiring me and um enjoy the rest of pinion and old festival so all the best now. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. All the best. This is. Bye. Bye-bye.